Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll learn how we can able to calculate the mean LST for each land use class. So I have this land use land cover map. So below that I have an LST for that area. So I'm interested to find out what is the mean LST below this built up land. If you'll see here, the red color showing a built up, this brown color showing a barren land, then this water body showing in blue color and here, if you'll see the all the colors are given here and, and I'm interested to find out what is actually mean temperature here at the built up area or what is the mean temperature below at a barren land that I'm interested to calculate. So how to prepare this LST map I have previously shown in my videos, how to prepare the uh, this LULC map also and how to prepare this uh, LST also. If you didn't watch it, you can go and visit our channel where we have shown how to prepare the land surface temperature. And there are many maps we have shown how to prepare. Also, LULC map and all that map I have shown here also, if you'll see the land use land core map is there. So if you are interested to prepare this map, you can visit our channel. And after that, what we need to do. So first we'll, uh, if you'll see the mean LST for whole image. Now, just right click properties the properties if you'll see here in the classification if i'll click here in the classify you will see the minimum temperature is 23 okay maximum temperature is 57 in yeah, land surface temperature then sum is given here and then mean temperature so this mean temperature we're interested to calculate for each land use class so how we can able to calculate that for that what we need to do we need to clip our uh, each land use. Okay, we need to clip our, uh, first we need to convert this raster to polygon. Okay, after converting the raster to polygon, we can able to uh, clip our mean temperature. So for that, what we can able to do? So first we need to go to the R toolbox. In the R toolbox, uh, we need to go to conversion tool. Okay, in the conversion tool, we need to convert this from raster to poly. Uh, so here is a ra from raster to poly. Okay. So just click on the raster to poly. So just click on this, uh, just add this LULC. So I have added the class name here. If you'll see in the attribute table, I added this class name water body built up area agriculture land. So on the basis of that, I will uh, classify this. In, on the basis of that, I will convert this into polygon and just we need to save the location where we are interested to save this. So in the D drive, I'm preparing a video lecture in that there is a mean LST. Here I will save that raster to poly LULC. So I'm converting this LULC into polygon format. So I will extract all polygons separately, it means water body area I will ex uh, extract separately, then built up, then all area I will, uh, I need to clip separately. So just click on OK. So first we'll convert this into polygon. After that, what we can able to do, we can separate each land use class. And for that each separate land use class, we can able to calculate the mean temperature. So now we have successfully converted raster to polygon. So we'll go to the properties. So symbology categories, here class name, apply and okay. So now we have converted this. Now what we'll do, we'll separate the agriculture land, then barren land, then built up area. Okay, so how to just go to open attribute table. In the open attribute table, we need to select by attribute option is there. In that select a class name equal to get unique values. So agricultural land I will separate first so just click apply 
So see here, all the agriculture land is selected. And now we'll export this agriculture land. So just right click, data, export data. So in the D drive, video lecture. So here I will save agri 2021. So I'm agriculture area I'm exporting. So do you want to add exported data to map layer? Click yes. So we have, if you'll see here, we have just extracted the agriculture land. Similar way we'll extract the barren land. So just, I will clear the selection, go to selection. I will remove this. So class name equal to barren land apply so barren land is selected right click data export data so when you're exporting must your editor should be off when your editor will be off then only it can able to ex export barren land so just click on ok So now select a third class that is a built up. So all the built up is selected. Select this right click data, export data. Built up. Okay. And the final is our water body. So just go to selection. Class name equal to water body. So all the water body is selected. Right click data, export data. water bodies so this way we will export all the land use okay after that exporting all the land use now now i have separate land use okay i have this let me check this lst above so let will classify this lst Okay, so this is the agriculture area. Okay, so I'm interested to see what is actually mean temperature on agriculture area in 2021. So for that, what we can able to do, we just need to go to extract by mask tool is there, extract by mask. Here we need to select the LST. And from that we need to, in the input raster layer, we need to select the agriculture area. And uh, here I will add that agri LST dot tiff. So just click on OK. So this way what we can able to do, we can extract the mean LST for only agriculture area. So now my agriculture area is extracted. If I uncheck this. So this much of area we have extracted from the agricultural land. So now if you'll right click, go to properties. You will be able to in the classification, you will be able to see the mean LST for this, mean LST for the agricultural area. So this is 41.87.
So this is the minimum temperature in agriculture area. This is the maximum temperature in agriculture area, and this is the mean temperature. This way we can able to do with the all the classes like for the water body built up area. So just no, you need to go here and just add this LST, uh, this land surface temperature and water body. So water bodies dot tiff. Just click on OK. So now if we'll check the mean temperature on water body, we will see. So this is the 29 is the mean temperature on water body. So this way we can able to calculate the mean temperature. If I'll color this. Oh, classify. Only one class, the blue color. If I'll uncheck all this. See, this is the, wherever there is a blue color, that area is covering a water body and the we have calculated the mean LST for that water body. So similar way we can do this with the built up area, barren land and we'll get the result for all the land use classes. So just we need to go to classify and here we can able to see the mean LST. So this way we can go for built up area. So just select this LST and this is the map built up area. So here we need to add the built up. So just click on OK. And the last one is our barren land. So now I will see the mean LST on a barren land. So this is showing 41.95. So this way we can able to calculate the mean LST for every land use class. And now from this, we can able to prepare a graph. If you'll plot the, all the values of this LST with the each year, we can able to calculate the mean LST graph with this. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. So thank you.